The Dallas Mavericks defeated the Sacramento Kings 132-96 during Tuesday, March 28th's matchup. Luka Doncic finished with 28 points and 6 assists. Kyrie Irving wasn't far behind with 24 points and 8 assists as well. Tim Hardaway Jr. scored 22 points off the bench, dished out 6 assists as well. The Mavs shot 55.4% from the floor, made 22 threes on 56.4% shooting for, and 34 assists as a team. And I'm going to get into all the ways that the Mavericks created advantages picking apart the Kings' defensive game plan and what could be adjusted ahead of Friday's rematch. The Mavericks run a handoff for Luka Doncic on their first possession, and Gafford hovers around the elbow, kind of hurts the spacing trying to get a post up. Luka gets into a step back going to his left after playing through contact on the drive and misses the shot. Kyrie's going to get a ball screen from P.J. Washington, bringing Sabonis into the action once again. Sabonis has to try to contain dribble penetration, but Kyrie gets low, buries him under the basket, plays off two, and tries to finish the floater, but misses. Luka Doncic is going to receive a screen from P.J. Washington. He's going to draw two with Sabonis committing to him, resulting in a behind-the-back pass to Washington on the pop, and he's going to hit the shot. P.J. Washington screens for Luka Doncic to help switch hunt Demonis Sabonis and the Kings don't want to live with that matchup so they're going to send a late double. Luka's going to get the ball out of his hands. Washington attacks in the middle of the floor, goes between the legs, sees the low defender is completely leaving Derek Jones wide open so he makes that pass. Jones attacks the closeout, plays off two and misses the floater. Doncic attacks on the break, uses a left to right crossover, beats Keon Ellis who tried to reach and then protects the ball against a strong side stunt and finishes with the finger roll. With Dante Exum pushing the pace, he was able to dish it to Kyrie Irving for a quick drive off the catch and a left-hand finish. P.J. Washington is going to flip a screen for Kyrie Irving with Sabonis in the action. Sabonis is going to try to recover back to the paint and Irving's going to get left open from three for a pull-up and you know, this was a risky play from the Kings, but Irving misses the shot. Luka Doncic is going to receive multiple screens to switch hunt Demonis Sabonis. And on the right wing, Luka's going to get into the hesitation dribble between the legs. And then he's just going to pull up with the back foot planted and knock down the shot. Luka makes a throw ahead pass to Derek Lively, who ends up trying to play out of that fake. Gets blocked by Sabonis on the trail. The Mavs are going to run stack pick and roll with Luka. He's going to reject the initial ball screen. And now that back screener is going to become a ball screener which is P.J. Washington, and Luka is going to draw Sabonis, make a no-look behind the back pass to Washington on the pop, who knocks down the shot. Luka's going to play it out of a spin move against a smaller Davion Mitchell and lose the handle on the drive, and then he's in a crowd deep in the paint, and the play gets blown up. After Washington screens for Luka early in this possession, he gives the ball up immediately after drawing two. Washington knocks down the catch-and-shoot jumper with the defense late to get out on him. As the Mavs are active off the ball after getting the pass to Luka, P.J. Washington's left completely wide open in the middle of the paint. He just gets into a quick floater on the catch and misses. After Tim Hardaway Jr. uses a ball screen from Derek Lively to drive to the nail, he's going to flow into a zoom action by tossing it to Lively, who then setting an off-ball screen. Irving's going to receive the handoff, draw Demonis Sabonis on the hard drive right, and then make the drop-off pass to Derek Lively, who's going to finish through smaller defenders in the paint. Derek Lively's going to come screen for Kyrie Irving, but he gives the ball up early to the weak side wing with Derek Jones Jr. making the extra pass to Tim Hardaway Jr. Chris Duarte has to close out on Hardaway and contain the drive off the catch, but Hardaway finishes through contact. Kyrie Irving is going to end up isoing in the corner against Keon Ellis. He's going to use a jab step with his right foot, take another jab, but get into a jab cross, step back going to his left and knock down the shot. Kyrie Irving's going to get blitzed in ball screen coverage early and get the ball up to the short roller, and then it's going to pop to Derrick Jones Jr., who makes the one more pass to Tim Hardaway Jr. in the corner, and Keegan Murray made it out to the corner for the contest tightly, but Hardaway, even against some contact, it appears, is able to knock down the shot. With the Mavs running a zoom action for Luka Doncic, the focus is entirely on accounting for the roller and Luka's drive. They completely leave Derrick Jones Jr. wide open on the three, and he's going to take the shot and make the defense pay by knocking it down. The Mavs play out of a zoom action out of delay for Luka Doncic. He gets the handoff, comes off to his right. The Kings are focused on neutralizing the lob to the rim roller, and that's exactly what happens with the play getting blown up. Lively gets the offensive rebound and tries to execute a reverse finish on the putback, but gets blocked. With De'Aaron Fox cross match on the P.J. Washington, Daniel Gafford's going to hand it off to him, and he's going to use his size on the drive by spinning towards the middle and then get into a finish and draw the foul. 
Kyrie Irving is going to receive multiple screens, attack the middle of the floor, and he's going to draw help at the nail and then trust Derek Jones Jr. to knock down the shot, and he misses. Daniel Gafford screens for Luka early. Luka's going to snake into the gap and then get right into a step back three as the on-ball defender tries to recover, and he knocks down the shot. Luka Doncic looks to post up De'Aaron Fox, a mismatch with a smaller guard. He's going to play out of that spin step back three, create separation, and knocks down the shot. After cutting to the paint, Luka's going to flash for a post catch against Harrison Barnes. He's going to be behind the three-point line and raise right into the shot against the contest and misses. Luka's going to use a push crossover with brush contact from P.J. Washington disrupting the on-ball defender. He's going to pick up his dribble before even crossing the three-point line, and he's going to throw up a lob to the dunker spot with Daniel Gafford tipping the ball right back to him with a touch pass, and Luka's going to get a clean finish as a result. Luka Doncic is going to draw a switch after Daniel Gafford's screen and has the inside driving lane after using the spin move, and he's going to draw the low defender rotated, leaving Derek Jones Jr. completely wide open mid-drive, and Luka's going to spray it out. Jones is going to miss the catch-and-shoot three, and then Luka's going to get the ball after an offensive rebound in the post. After a back-down dribble, he's going to flow into a step-back shot fake and then take a fadeaway, and Barnes isn't going to get a great contest, but Luka is off balance and unable to convert on the shot. Kyrie's going to play out of a get action with Daniel Gafford, get the handoff, attack baseline, and get to a pull-up with Demonis Sabonis not contesting. Out of the middle, pin down, Luka's going to get the ball from Tim Hardaway Jr., attack off the catch against Keegan Murray, have contact on his right side, play out of the step back, and then play it off two, get to a step through left hand finish. The Mavs struggled against a blitz on this possession. Luka is going to receive a ball screen from Maxi Kleba, who slips, and then Sabonis is aggressive about staying attached to Luka. He tries to find an open teammate on the weak side of the floor but is falling away, lofts the ball up and turns it over. Luka gives the ball up to Lively on a short roll after being blitzed. He finds Exum wide open in the weak side corner, who knocks down the corner three. Luka begins off the ball on the block, and then the Mavericks are going to flow into a middle pin down for him, and he's going to get the ball from Tim Hardaway Jr., and he's going to play out of that iso against Keegan Murray. He's going to read the floor, use a subtle shot fake, try to attack left into that step back, has space on the release, and knocks it down. Luka Doncic is going to signal Derek Lively to come up to set a ball screen to get Sabonis into the action, and the Kings are going to send two to the ball, and Luka's going to try to throw a no-look pass, but De'Aaron Fox saw this coming and jumps the passing lane. The Mavericks dump the ball to Luka Doncic in the post against a smaller Keon Ellis, and as this happens, Luka is reading the weak side of the floor, how the overall team defense is responding, and he sees that P.J. Washington is being left unaccounted for on a corner shakeup. He gets the ball on the reversal, and then Washington makes the one more pass to Exum, who attacks a closeout and ends up getting blocked on a finish attempt by a help defender. The Kings are going to blitz Kyrie Irving on this possession. He's going to give the ball up to Luka Doncic on the other side of the floor, and he's going to get into an iso against Keegan Murray, get into that between-the-legs step back, and it just rims out. Luka's going to receive a ball screen from Daniel Gafford and make a between-the-legs pocket pass, and Harrison Barnes rotates over to, to help and is able to disrupt Gafford enough to force the miss. Kyrie's going to attack downhill with a favorable matchup against Keon Ellis early on, playoff two, get into a right-hand floater, and the ball rolls in. P.J. Washington is screening for Kyrie Irving to bring Sabonis into the action. The Kings switch this. Kyrie immediately raises up into a pull-up three and knocks it down. Kyrie received the ball screen from P.J. Washington. He tried to turn the corner, and as that happened, Keegan Murray tried to stab at the ball and help defense. Kyrie protects it and has a clean lane to just get right into the dunk. Lucas sees that the Kings are not accounting for Kyrie Irving early in this possession, gets in the ball, open three, and it just rims out. Damana Sabonis is playing up in ball screen coverage, and Kyrie Irving is going to look to use his speed, attack downhill, open space to his right, and he's going to play off of two, use a no-look pass to Derek Jones Jr. with the low man rotated over, and then Jones is going to knock it down on the catch. Luka Doncic is going to get the ball up on a pocket pass to the short roller after being blitzed, and now Kyrie Irving on the weak side is going to get into an iso against Keon Ellis, use a jab step, and then just raise and shoot over the top and knocks it down. Luka finds Kyrie Irving, and the Kings are leaving Daniel Gafford completely wide open under the basket. Irving gets him the ball, and he finishes through contact against Sabonis. Kyrie's going to be aggressive in transition, play out of a snatch back with Harrison Barnes trying to stop the drive. He's going to draw help and then pass to the trailing Luka Doncic, who's going to attack, get towards the elbow, raise up for the short-range jumper, and knock down the shot. With Luka Doncic posting up with an empty corner, he's going to draw a double from the nail defender. He's going to fake a pass to Kyrie Irving, get the ball to the weak side wing. Dante Exum is going to make the one more pass to P.J. Washington, who hits the catch-and-shoot corner three. 
Kyrie pushes on the break and Keon Ellis tries to stop the ball. He's backpedaling, loses his balance, and Kyrie's able to play through the contact, get into a scoop, finish with his left hand, and finish it. It looks like the Kings are trying to run a zone here, and P.J. Washington is in the middle of the floor. He's going to make himself available for the pass and just get into an easy catch and floater opportunity. On the left side of the floor, Luka's going to get into a transition between the legs, step back three, sweep the right leg, was off balance, and misses short. Dante Exum's going to screen for Luka to switch hunt De'Aaron Fox. Now Luka gets into the post up. He's going to pass it to get it back. He's going to play out of a back down dribble a couple times. And then he's going to set up the drop step. And the Kings are focused on help defense, helping the helper. And they're going to try to X out on the weak side. And Luka gets the reversal to P.J. Washington in the weak side corner. Washington makes the one more pass to Exum who hits the three from the wing. Derek Lively beats Demonis Sabonis down the floor. Irving rewards him with a bounce pass, and he finishes the dunk. The Kings blitz Kyrie Irving in ball screen coverage, and Kyrie gives the ball up to Luka, who then throws it to the weak side with the low defender pre-rotated, and Hardaway is going to attack a flyby, take a one-dribble pull-up, and miss the shot. Luka is going to try to capitalize on the size advantage again by posting up Davion Mitchell, and he's going to work him down with back down dribbles into the paint. A double's coming, so he's going to take a turnaround jumper, shoots over the top, and misses. Luka has a three on two in transition. Keegan Murray tries to stop the ball. Luka immediately makes a bounce pass to Tim Hardaway Jr., who finishes the dunk. Sacramento tries blitzing Luka. He just lofts it up to the short roller, and then the one more pass from Exum comes to Hardaway in the corner, and he hits the shot on a reload after a flyby. Luka senses a double is going to come, so he drags out the defense wide and gets the ball to Lively, who flashes out of the dunker. He's just going to get into a quick post-up, tries to get a jump hook, and misses. A rare play where Luka gets ripped. He tries to break down Keegan Murray off the dribble with the between the legs and gets the ball poked loose. Luka has Keegan Murray engaging him early in this possession. He's just going to try to attack downhill, but with the strong side loaded with two spacers, Luka picks up his dribble early against a stunt. And then he tries to make a pass to the weak side on the spray out. And the defense stayed home, so they're able to jump the pass and force a turnover. Tim Hardaway Jr. is the focus of his typical double drag Spain action, where double drag screens are followed by a back screen. And he's going to curl off into a catch and shoot jumper, and he misses the shot. Kyrie tries to beat a double team by attacking open space on the right side of the floor. And then as he's driving baseline, he tries to make that drop off pass to Lively in the paint. And it gets tipped. But the ball finds Hardaway, who takes a one dribble pull up and knocks it down. The Mavericks essentially play out of a wide action for Kyrie Irving, and this flows into a handoff from Daniel Gafford. With the Kings pre rotating off the weak side wing to help with the nail, Irving passes the ball to PJ Washington for a catch and shoot look, and he misses the shot. And the Mavs get the offensive rebound. Kyrie gets the chance for a catch and shoot three, and he's unable to knock down the shot. The ball is going to find Tim Hardaway Jr. after a transition push, and he's going to play out of a get action with Daniel Gafford. With Chris Duarte undering the handoff, Hardaway is going to get right into a pull up three, and he knocks it down again gets a contest. Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to receive a zoom action and he's going to get the handoff, come off left, draw two defenders and just lofts the ball up to Daniel Gafford and the weak side defense was not expecting Hardaway to look to distribute and Gafford capitalizes on the catch for a finish. The Kings show and recover against the ball screen with Kyrie Irving giving the ball up and then Hardaway gives it right back to him. He attacks off the catch, tries to get into a left-hand scoop finish as Alex Lynn rotates over to protect the rim, but the finish is offline. The Mavs are going to run a horn set for P.J. Washington to receive a screen at the nail for Daniel Gafford. He gets Alex Lynn switched onto him, attacks downhill going right, tries to finish the scoop finish, but is unable to get it to go. Here, Kyrie's aggressive early, uses a push crossover into a step back, gets Alex Len off balance, and then raises up, hits the shot. Daniel Gafford's going to hand it off to Kyrie Irving, and then with the expectation of a screen coming, Damanis Sabonis is going to show, and then Irving's going to split him, and then attack downhill, spray it out to P.J. Washington on the weak side wing, who misses the shot. Kyrie Irving has an empty corner ISO to work with. He tries to get out of a step back, doesn't like what he has against De'Aaron Fox, plays out of a get action handoff with P.J. Washington. The Kings switch this, and Irving punishes them by getting into the pull-up three and knocks it down. This was an interesting look for the Mavs. They're going to effectively play it out of a horn set. Washington's going to hand it off to Gafford, and then Gafford's going to hand it off in a zoom action to Kyrie, who's going to take a quick trigger three and miss the shot. This is a true testament to the just level of rhythm the Mavericks had offensively in this game. Kyrie Irving's going to attack as the initiator, get into a quick post-up, and then pass the ball to Tim Hardaway Jr. spacing against a contest, and Hardaway knocks it down. 
Thank you for checking this video out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and any like and share would be greatly appreciated and check back for more content like this in the future.